Sark Kenny's back, but is it all rainbows and sunshine? Hey everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no unicorns. It's gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. Kickstart Kenny, welcome to the kiddie pool. We gotta pull apart Kickstart a little bit, a little bit, right? It can't be all rainbows and sunshine and just blowing sunshine up every carrot and snowflake skirt with the rest of the industry. There's plenty of channels doing that. That won't be this channel, at least not today. <laughs> today, we're gonna take a look at some polling. We asked you guys some questions. We're gonna take a look at the results around Kickstart Kenny. We're gonna take a look at some of the comments around Kickstart Kenny. But the realities are this, friends. Listen, let's make no mistake about this. He was not happy that he lost position at the end of that race. He got beat. So that's never a fun thing for a racer. I think we can all agree with that. But unfortunately, Kenny's got a little bit of this in his history, and there's nothing wrong with that. He almost lost his arm. We're lucky to have him at the track at all. And as we all know, courtesy of Walt T, everybody's got agent representation, and they're just going for the biggest payday but at the end of the day these dudes are racers they don't want to go get embarrassed they have to remain competitive so they can garnish those big contracts and sponsorships uh, moving forward that's why we gotta blow apart our boy cooper webb a little bit moving forward too if we don't see cooper webb like we'll give him what a whole year can we give cooper webb a whole year to ride around in top 10 no he needs to be up on the podium asap asap to 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 justify the type of money i'm sure was shaken loose to give him that ride but we'll just have to wait and see so kickstart kenny is going under the microscope today and like i said i'm a kickstart fan i'm any veteran fan especially somebody got rug pulled by honda ah! and let go the way he did somebody that almost lost their arm saved it that's a big one lost their arm and saved it and came back to race again now whew, wsx elephant in the room there too they went all in on kickstart kenny they went all in kenny got paid a oh, big money i am sure to be the face of that that series a lot of question marks moving forward it wasn't quite what i had hoped but listen there's still time to save it so i don't want to throw anybody all the way under the bus uh quite yet but today we're going to jump over and take a look at some polling we did. If you're new, jump over to the Walty Wanders community page of the YouTube channel and participate. You never know. Put on them goggles because you might go in to the comments and those comments might get shown. But the realities are this. We pulled it on the show. Is this, is this something we're going to see out of Kickstart moving forward? Let's jump over and see the results of what you guys are saying and even a few comments. Then we'll meet back here, wrap this one up. Let's get started. Hey, race fans, buckle up, strap in, put on a pair of goggles, and maybe even load a few tear-offs on them. When asked on the community page of the Walty Wanders YouTube channel, Kickstart Kenny faded this race. Will this continue? 65% of you said, yup, our boy Kickstart, love him, but that boy is going to continue to fade. Well, 35% of you said, nope, this was just a one-time deal. It's all rainbows and sunshine for Kickstart. Well, let's jump into the comments and see what's being said over there. Our boy YZ ETC writes, maybe it's late enough in the year for him to start fading as in seasons past. I actually want to see him win some. Yup, me too. Let's see what else we got. Boy Pico writes, Kenny will fade like the wind since there's competition finally. Uh-oh, that might have been a little dig at WSX. True Pimp Soul Addictions writes, he was the third best guy over Chase and Jet for crying out loud. Come on, bro. He didn't fade. I'd bet you that he's capable of winning one of these. Well, that's why I brought my tear-offs because I knew some roost would be flying and he probably can. But will he? That's the million-dollar question. Let's keep reading. Our boy Micah Hook writes, he's always been like this, bro. And Mike Hudge writes, kickstart Kenny will not only kickstart that bike, he's going to kick some arse too. Harvey jumps in, pulls a tear off and writes, Kenny didn't fade. He lost one spot to Chase, the SX champ, and one spot to Jet, the MX champ. Touche, my brother. 
Midwest Outdoors pulls a tear off and says, he's spent just racing for the money these days, bro. He can't run this speed in them long motos. Well, that is the million dollar question. Let's get back to the studio and wrap this one up. Thanks for everybody who participated. Feel free to jump over there and read the rest if you'd like. Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, there you go. The majority of you are saying, kickstart, bro. We love you, dude. You're the man, bro. But... You're going to be fading. We'll probably see some more of this out of you. Now, here's the thing. Here is the only thing, the only asterisk, the only argument that you could possibly push is this was a first race back for Kenny in a while. And that track was very different from a typical super cross track that we'll see moving forward. This was a hard track to deal with. And Kenny dealt with it quite nicely. He smoked a lot of dudes out there. But we really want to see Kickstart Kenny win again. How much of a long shot is that? That's the million dollar question. If you were forced to pull out your wallet right now and put it on the table right here with Walty, how much money are you going to put on Kenny to pull wins, to be able to run up front, to not fade? Listen, friends, his arm has been severely compromised. His body has been traumatized to levels that you and I can possibly only imagine. I know I've never suffered anything that bad and knock on wood because I still ride that I won't have to ever deal with that. But if so, that's just the that's just life, right? At least at least for us, we bench race. We're not out there on the gate. Now Kenny's getting paid millions and millions of dollars, so don't feel too bad for him quite yet. And final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy. Once to see you not only went on the track, off the track. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. Shark in. Kenny Boy Roxon, welcome back to the kiddie pool. It's nice to have you back, Kenny. We are absolutely cheering for you. Please figure out the fading problem if that's going to continue to be a problem. We're hoping it won't. And I think once we get Kenny, listen up, Kenny Boy Roxon, kickstart. I don't even care if you have to kickstart the bike, that bike next year at A1 on the line or whatever. Your mechanic, somebody does it for you. I will be cheering for you, dude, because I want to see somebody get in there and make this series interesting. I don't want to see another outdoors as much as the perfect season was hyped. I don't want to see it again. I want to see competition moving forward. And right now, you're one of our best shots to do Because of that, I'm going to continue to heat map, temperature check, read between the lines, and look between the moto ruts and blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve if you appreciate the content i would humbly ask you to give a video a like subscribe to the channel leave a comment below i would love to hear from you social media link in the description if you like to bench race with us there along with links to channels i've appeared on i think you might enjoy if you enjoyed this video you're going to love the next video and there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience as always thank you for your time don't go over the bars i'll see you on the next video